What's going on, y'all? This is Marcus, and I'm back to do my Real Housewives of Atlanta season. What is this? Season six, episode fifteen. Now, this review probably not going to be that long because I don't have any notes written down this time, so it's not going to be a scene by scene review. I'm just going to talk about certain things. But anyway, let's get into it. So I first want to start off. Okay, if I can remember correctly, it starts off with Kenya going to. I guess the hair salon or something to go talk to Miss Lawrence. Well, Lawrence and Marlo. First of all, I didn't even because they were talking about how they hadn't seen each other since the winery. First of all, I didn't even know that her and Marlo was cool like that. I, I just anyway. Um, you know they bring he Lawrence ask about I guess something about in the blogs about Brandon getting into a fight and yada yada yada, which I hadn't seen anything, so I don't know where he got that from. And then Kenya, I mean yeah, Kenya starts talking about Apollo yada yada yada. Anyway. Um, she tells Marla that she wants to have like a masquerade ball in honor of Nini um, for the Saving Our Daughters um, Foundation or charity or whatever she was saying it was in honor of Nini. She was saying, you know, that her and, you know, that Nini still mad at her. But I guess she, in her mind, she figures if I raise a lot of money for this charity that Nini won't be mad at me. But my thing is, like, why do you think that's going to make her not be mad at you? Especially if the, I'm just being honest, but... If you raising money, now donating to charity is nice, but if I'm not getting none of that money, what good is it doing me? I don't want to sound like selfish or nothing, but I'm just saying that, you know, and she was talking about she going to kill it with kindness. Um, so she tells Marlo, well, Marlo's going to help her pick out some men. She says she wants 10 men. Um, so let me see. We go over to, so they're at bar one. Cynthia's there. Mallory's there. The way they act, like I would have thought that Kenya and Mallory was good. For what Kenya did say that, you know, she's going to try to be nice to Mallory since she likes Cynthia, yada, yada, yada. So they come in. It was about six men that came in. Um, they all took their shirts off so, that, you know, they could see what they was working with. Cynthia was talking about she don't get to see this every day because she married because her husband is 52. Anyway. Him, his age ain't no excuse because there are some 52 year old men that are fit so any you know him being 52 ain't no excuse um let me trying to remember was there anything else important in that scene no so was it Portia yeah Portia invites all the girls to the roller skating derby Nene didn't come you know I guess you know because she's still upset with Kenya you know um the issue, one issue that I have is Kenya and well, Phaedra said something about she came from court. But my thing is, if you wasn't going to participate in skating, why were you even there? Like, they just sat there looking like, I was just confused. Like, I, I always say that. I was just confused. But I was, I do be confused. But, like, I was just confused. <laughs> like, why do you, like, I, that's, I can't stand. Like, if you, if I invite you to, if I'm inviting you, if I'm having a skating party, if I'm inviting you. I'm on. If you're gonna come, you need to be on that flow skating. Even if you got to hold on to the side and skate around, you're gonna do something but just to come and sit there. And then both of them were sitting on their phones. It ain't like they were sitting there like, oh, look at that, you know, look at Kenny, look at Portia. You know, they was on their phones the whole time. Like I was just confused. Um, you know, they did sit around or whatever. She was. Um, Kenya did. You know, she did kind of say that she kind of wished Nene would have came so they could have, you know, put things out or whatever. She did, you know, somewhat apologize to them. Phaedra wasn't here for it. Um, moving on to Candy and Carmen. So Candy's working out to uh, Phaedra's, uh, is it donkey booty or stallion booty? It's a booty video. That's, that's all I can remember. But her and Apollo's video. Carmen comes in. She's pissed off. You know, she was basically like, I don't feel like working out. Candy was like, so you came here dressed up, but you're not going to work out. So then she was talking about, <sighs> long story short, there's a dude named Benny who's dating somebody named Crystal who's friends with Mama Joyce. Crystal is the one that's been going around telling Mama Joyce that, Ken, uh, that, Ken, that Candy and Carmen are messing around. Apparently there was some rumor going out that Candy, that Carmen and Ty were messing around and Candy caught them. Yada, 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 which is, of course, is a lie because my thing is if she truly caught them together, her and Ty wouldn't be together and her and Count Carmen wouldn't be speaking. So, you know, Chris, C Carmen calls Crystal, cuss her out, tell her, keep my name out your mouth. Mama Joyce calls Carmen, leaves her a message talking about why did you call Carmen, you, you know, you, I wish you would put your hands on the girl, I drag you up and down the street like the rag you is, you low down hell for yada yada yada. So Candy is kind of like, 
which is a good thing that Carmen saved that message because I feel like if she had just came out and told her that Mama Joyce, you know, left a message on my voicemail threatening me, yada, 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 I don't think Candy probably wouldn't have believed her. So it's a good thing that she actually had the message, you know, to show proof. You know, Candy's feeling some type of way, whatever. You know, she's kind of, which I, like, to me it kind of seems like she's still kind of like, I can't believe my mama this and that and the other. But it's kind of like after everything that's been going on from what we've seen throughout this season, why is it like the things that she does and the things that she says is still surprising to Candy? Like, I, I don't get that. I'm just confused. But anyway, so skip over. Well, I don't remember if this was the next thing or not, but she goes and tells Todd about everything that's going on. You know, Todd is pissed off. He was excited, though, when she told him about Carmen calling Crystal. You know, so then he tell Carmen to come outside, yada, yada, yada. You know, Todd is feeling some type of way. He was like, your mama got your mind messed up, which I agree. You know, Todd was basically, long story short, like, it may come down to a point that I may have to leave. Um, You know, Candy was feeling some type of way because I guess she kind of felt like the day was kind of... You know, she was like, you know, my mama's going to hold me down no matter what. And my thing is, you don't have to be disrespectful to your mom. But, I mean, you a grown woman. You, like, what, 40, 30, 40-something 40 years old. You a grown woman. You ought to be have enough have enough oomph in you to sit your mama down and let her. Because, obviously, the little talks that you had with her before wasn't working. If we see what she's doing, you need, to, you need to sit her down. Don't smile be serious and tell your mama you know this is not cool this is you know i love this man this is who i want to spend the rest of my life with this is not cool how you acting yada 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 and i mean you may just have to tell her and if you can't accept that then you, we just gonna have to i'm just gonna have to love you from a distance i mean that's your mom and it and it does and you know it's sad that it that it had that it may have to be like that but i mean obviously your mom obviously doesn't care about your happiness if this is the stuff that she's doing so you know tyler basically like that i may end up leaving and you know she kind of feels type of way. like you saying you might leave me like leave me and so he's kind of like i'm kind of, that's kind of where i am because like you said no man is going to want to be with you when you when your mama is constantly disrespecting him and then on top of that to a certain extent you allowing it to happen um i just think that candy needs to get a backbone like i said you don't have to be disrespectful but she needs to know her place um so Nene and Faith, no, not Nene and Faith, Nene and Candy meet up, you know, not, Nene and Cynthia meet up to talk about, the, you know, Cynthia asked Nene if she going to the masquerade ball. From what Nene said, excuse me, from what Nene said, she didn't get no invitation from Cynthia, uh, what is the girl, from Kenya. So, you know, Cynthia was basically saying that it's in honor, supposed to be in honor of you you know, in support of the one of the, of the Saving Our Daughter charity. Now, she did say that she's going to evac to everybody, but I feel like if any, but I feel like she, considering that it was supposed to be in honor of Nene, she could have at least called or texted Nene, but to send her an evite, like, I just feel like her being the honoree, she should deserve more than that. So, at that point, Nene's not sure if she's coming, if she's going to go or not. So, I'm trying to remember, was there anything else, which I don't think, okay. Portia auditions for Candy's play. First of all, she asked them, do she have to go by the script? And like I said, when I commented on Tasha C's video, why would they give you a script if they didn't want you to go by it? Like, I was just confused. Going from what she read, she wasn't... The, well, this is actually, like, before the skating wrench. But anyway, like I said, it's not going to be in order. But her acting wasn't that good to me, I guess, maybe because she... I guess maybe because she was reading from a script. Like, I was just confused. She sang. She sounded good, but... I don't, she would she could anyway moving on okay so we get to the masquerade ball Cynthia Mallory Peter show up you know they come and meet Candy and uh, the drunk lady Lexi is there um you know Kenya's aunt aka mama voodoo was there Miss Lawrence came up in there looking like the pastor's undercover mistress with that convention revival hat on I was not here for her at all I was like no ma'am but anyway so Ken is kind of hoping that you know Nene's gonna be there because uh, first of all, where did she get them get them guests from? Because it seemed like the most she made off of them men was like five hundred something dollars per man. Like after about five eighty five ninety, I didn't hear nothing higher than that. Like where did you get them people, from, girl? But at the same time, she went looking for the men three days prior. So that's probably when she put the put the put the put the ad out. Can't get my words here. That's probably when she put the ad out them three days prior. So. That's what happens when you do stuff at the last minute. 
but anyway she's hoping that nini gonna show up because it's supposed to be in honor of her nini does show up she goes and hugs everybody but when it comes to kenya she just walked right past her i was like girl like nini came walking in walking up in there stink like when she walked in i thought you know how like if you have a baby it like well it's not your baby but there's a baby and the duty on itself and you change it and you give it to another like your child or whoever and say throw this away and instead of throwing it in the outside trash can or throwing it in the dumpster for those of y'all that live in the projects they put it in the trash can inside the house and after a while the house starts smelling like old doo doo like that's how that's how her attitude was when she came walking up in there you know Kenya was talking about some this is in the honor of my good friend Nene Lee so Nene please come up here and say something now she could have just Last time I checked, I thought she was an actress. She had a heart. She, I mean, she could at least hid her feelings a little bit. Like, she could have at least, you know, enjoyed it. You know, act like she was having a good time. And then went off on Kenya later. But all of that, I just felt like that was just shouted. So she go up there, snatched the microphone. It's amazing how many good friends I have and don't even know it. I want to say, what did she say? This something about saving our daughters. Which is one of the many charities, charities that I support. Thank you. And then she walked away. And it's like everybody was looking at her like, trick, girl. Like everybody could, it was like Peter was pissed off. He says he ready to go. So then Mallory, Cynthia, Nene say she ready to go. So then they leave. Now I did read, and I guess I don't know if people would guess was tweeting Cynthia because I seen on her Twitter she was like, "I left because my husband left, not because Nene left." You know, I'm not a flunky, and it's kind of like. So, like I said, I don't know if people were tweeting her, but anyway, yeah, she left because Peter left. It doesn't matter about Nene, cause my, but because my thing is Peter drove. So, had she not left, she just she would have got left. I'm just saying, probably. So when they get outside, they didn't even say bye or nothing. They, I mean, I, I would have thought at least Cynthia would just would have snuck up to her and been like, you know, I'm sorry, we have to leave. But she just up and left. Like I was just confused. Um. They get outside, Cynthia's like, what's wrong? You know, asking Peter what's wrong. He was like, nothing, I just had to leave. I think it's effed up what Nene did, yada, yada, yada. So Nene come walking up out of nowhere. And I know a lot of people have a thing about the men getting in the women's business. But at the same time, Nene walked up on him. So he had a right to say, you know, go back and repeat himself. My thing is this. And I'm not going to go back between who said what and who said this and that and the other, yada, yada, yada. But my thing is this. Like I said... If you felt some type of way, if you were still upset with Kenya and you felt some type of way about the fact that you quote unquote allegedly did not get an invitation, you should have stayed home if you were not going to come and enjoy yourself and support the charity. You should have stayed home. At the end of the day, it was about charity. Whatever beef you and Kenya had or what it will, whatever beef you got with Kenya, because I don't, it, I mean, it just seems like Kenya is trying to do what she can to get back in Nene's good graces. But anyway, whatever beef you have with Kenya you could have put that on the back burner and then y'all could have discussed that later like it was about charity and then my thing is you this is one of the many charities that you support it don't seem like you was being very supportive of the charity at that time um one thing i did not like is the fact that she said none of these bees are on my level so i don't have time to argue with them knowing now cynthia's standing right here cynthia's supposed to be her girl so and she's throwing shade at cynthia cynthia's standing right there last time i checked y'all all on the same show Last time I checked, y'all all standing in front of the same camera. Last time I checked, y'all all holding the same peach, same peaches. Your peach ain't bigger than nobody else. And just because you stand in the center, that don't mean... I mean, girl, have a seat. Last time I checked, when you look at it status-wise, Candy make more than all y'all put together. More than likely. Last time I checked, one of your shows is canceled and the other show really ain't checking for you like that. And you really ain't... And you ain't got now another job. Like Kenya said, why couldn't you have came to, came to her masquerade? Because it ain't like you got a job. Girl... I'm just sick and tired of Nene. This, like I said on somebody's review, Nene's just upset because for the longest time she was the star of Housewives of Atlanta. And now Kenya's coming in and taking over. I honestly feel like next season Nene gonna be gone and Ken Kenya's gonna be the one in the middle holding that peach. That's all. My, that's what the issue is. Nene's upset that, like I said, that, that Kenya's taking her shine as a star. I honestly feel like a lot of them ain't gonna be here. I kind of feel like Marlo. She might be on the show next season. You never know. I can't wait to get into it next week when her and Nene get into it because apparently Nene's upset with her, I guess, because her and Kenya are close now. So, I don't know. Maybe Nene's kind of feeling betrayed because, like, me and Kenya not getting along. You're supposed to be my girl, but you're hanging out with her. But anyway, that's pretty much all I got. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about it. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Share this video on Facebook and Twitter. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. 
uh, Twitter, Facebook. It'll be down at the bottom. Um, also, be sure to check out some more love. The Ghetto View, Ashley Miller, 1987, Forage Rocks, Hasha C, um, Bondi Blue. Um, Alexander Rogers and is that Justin J1232 and <clears throat> um, Scotty from Mr. Still Stand Up Anyway. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.